tropic and nastic movements in plants. So in the previous experiments, the experiments that were conducted by F.W. Wendt, it proved that plant pods, they have uh, the ability to show response or move towards a stimulus. So any such response, the plant pods moving towards the stimulus is called as trophic movements. Tropic movements. So the movement of the plant parts are shown irrespective of the direction of the stimuli. You call such things as nastic movements. So the tropic movements are the movements, the movement of the plant part as a response towards the stimuli in the direction of the stimuli. You call it as a tropic movement. Irrespective of the direction of the stimuli, you call it as an astic movement. So let us see the different kind of tropic movements in plants. So we already discussed about one tropic movement that is phototrophism. Phototrophism. Photo means light. The tendency of the stems to bend towards the light is called as phototrophism. We have uh, done several activities in our lower classes. The stem of the plant always tries to bend towards the light. It, it grows in the direction of the light and we call this tropism as phototrophism. And the second one is geotrophism. The tendency of the roots to grow towards the earth is called as geotrophism. Here the movement of the roots is towards the earth always. So this kind of tendency is called as geotrophism. And we also observe that roots they move towards the water, source of water we call it as hydrotrophism. hydrotropism. So sometimes we see different kind of stimuli, more than one stimuli. See we know that plants, all the plants, uh, their stems they grow towards the light. But in some cases like climbers. So if you see the climbers, which are uh, very weak stemmed plants, they climb with the help of supports. The stems they grow towards the light. Of course they move towards the sunlight. Phototrophism is shown. But at the same time, the plants give priority more than the phototrophism to other kind of stimulus that is the support. So these plants they have uh, the climbers they have small coil structures called as tendrils. So these tendrils they grow towards some support and they wound around the support and they grow in that direction. So here touch trophism towards some support this is called as thigmotrophism. Thigmotrophism is also observed in plants like climbers and creepers which are very weak stemmed plants which produce tendrils to get support. Another type of tropic movement we observe is that chemotropism. So where do we observe this chemotropism? If you observe the reproductive system, female reproductive system of a plant, so here on the stigma, this is the carpel, the carpel has got stigma style and ovary. So this part is sweet. It has got some sweet sugary substances to attract the insects. And when the insect comes here, it drops the pollen, uh, pollen grain. The pollen grain, when it drops here, because of the chemical substances present in it, the pollen grain, it produces a pollen tube into the ovary. So this is because of the chemical uh, stimulus. So we call this kind of response as chemotrophism. This kind of trophic movement as chemotrophism. So in plants, we observe chemotropism, thigmotropism, hydrotropism, zeotropism and phototropism. So these are the various kind of tropic movements that are observed in plants which are coordinated by the plant hormones.